What's going on shady people? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be jumping into our next Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play Reshift of Destruction. Reshift of Destruction. I really should have looked up how to pronounce this before I started this video, but uh, this was obviously and easily the most requested Yu-Gi-Oh! game uh, during the Let's Play of our last Yu-Gi-Oh! game. So we're going to jump into this. This is apparently the sequel, so it's the same city. Different unique storyline. It's not going to be out of the anime according to you guys uh, in the comment section. But let's see how much validity there is to that as we jump into brand new game. Okay, once again, get to name ourselves. Oh, this is also familiar. I like it. I like it. Okay. So I feel like we have grown as a duelist due to our last playthrough. I think that Sacred Cards has taught us a lot. So let's see. Whoa. Whoa. Maybe we can actually use all three god cards in this game, who knows? Oh, speaking of god cards, here they are! Bro. Bro. Scattered across the world. Is this is this a Pokemon game? Dude, you guys are gonna be excited. So, who's this man? That's, is that Pegasus? Oh, that's Pegasus. That's old school young. Old school young. That's young Pegasus. Now I put this monster card in here like so, and voila, I'm good to go. Shady. How's adjusting your deck coming along? I'm just gonna say perfect, because I'm a, I'm a duelist. You sure about that? Let the expert, the one and only Joey Wheeler, check it out. Yeah, it's cool to be confident about your skills, but uh, you still have lots of work to do on this deck before it's any good. Wow, Joey. Hey, don't feel bad. I know you can construct an awesome deck, Shady. All right, guys. Why are you saying guys? <laughs> I'm gonna totally rock with this deck today. Man, I can't wait for the Duel Express train to come. It's been too long since I've dueled in a tournament. Shady and Yugi and I are gonna wound this tourney. By the way... Huh? What's wrong? Oh yeah, where the heck's Yugi? Yeah, cause you said you guys, it's just me. You know, he's not behind me. Nope. Oh man, this stinks. Look at the time already. He's late. Come on, Yugi. How can you even think about being late in a day like this? If he doesn't get here soon, we'll miss the Duel Express. And he was the one who promised that the three of us were gonna take the train together. Man, that Yugi! Yeah! If he doesn't get here, he can give me all his rare cards and I still won't forgive him. Look, he's here. Calm down, Joey. Shady, everything's horrible. Oh, gosh. What happened? My other self. The Millennium Puzzle. The puzzle's gone, along with the spirit inside. Oh, my gosh. When I woke up this morning, it was gone. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Hey, we can't waste time standing here and talking. Shady, what do you think we should do? Let's go look for it. Let's go look for it. Okay, then that's what we're gonna do. You got it, Yug? I won't stop until I find my dearest friend. I promise. I'm counting on you, Shady. Yes, Yugi. Okay, so yeah, same town. It's whoa! But look at that clock. It's not. Oh wait, it's... no, it's still nine o'clock. Never mind. <laughs> they didn't even change the clock between games. Shady, what are you still doing here? Weren't the three of you taking the Duel Express? Fill her in. What? The Millennium Puzzle's gone, but how? How did that happen? I mean, oh, Ishizu's here too. Forgive me, but I overheard your conversation. I thought we were never gonna see you again according to the end of the last game. So it seems the Millennium Puzzle has also disappeared. What I have feared most is coming to fruition. Please, I need your help. Why? I see you're puzzled. Ho <laughs> ho, a zinger. But that is only to be expected. Please bear with me and listen to my words carefully. I've come to ask you duelists for your help. You must save the world from the Reshif, the dark being. Reshif? I've really got to look up how to say this word before the next episode. I understand this is sudden and confusing. However, the world is in grave peril. Only strong duelists such as yourselves can save us all from ruin before it's too late. All the Millennium items have disappeared. This is most likely due to the Reshif's resurrection. An unknown entity must have commenced a fusion ritual on the Egyptian god cards. Uh-oh which re-released Resh of the Dark Being into the world. The ritual stole the mighty power of the Egyptian god cards, and the cards, now drained of its mystical energies, transformed into stone. You must send the Dark Being to its eternal rest before the world is destroyed. But in order to accomplish this feat, the Egyptian god cards are absolutely essential. However, since the Egyptian god cards have been turned to stone, they no longer have power. Only the Millennium Items can restore them to their former glory. Oh. Oh. The items have been scattered all over the world. They must be regained to resurrect the Egyptian god cards. And with help from the Egyptian gods, we may have a chance of sealing away the dark being. I'm counting on you to accomplish this task. 
Please, my powerful duelists, if left unchecked, the dark being's strength will keep growing. The world will be shrouded in perpetual darkness. Please help save the world. What should we do, Shady? What do you think? Defeat the dark being! I knew you'd say that. Besides, I have to find my Millennium Puzzle. I'll go with you, Shady. Hey, since you said I'm a powerful duelist, how can I refuse? I'm coming along too, Shady. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. First, the Millennium items must be recovered. As a descendant of a clan of Gravekeepers, I can sense the faint pulses of the Millennium items. You must first make your way to the Egypt exhibit. Egypt exhibit exhibition? Exhibi eggs, eggs, eggs! My feelings are correct. The first of the Millennium items should be there. All right, we're going to the art exhibit, Egyptian exhibit. That's sort of what it is, exhibit. Is that hard to say? I know what I ask is a great imposition, but I have no one to turn to except for you. Leave it to us. Your words have given me hope for the first time in a long time. I leave the fate of the world in your hands. So this really does have its own story. This never happened. Whoa, they're actually following us. This never happened in um, in the anime. You're going shady. The Egyptian exhib exhibition is the last stop on the Dual Express. I don't think it's left yet, but it will soon. If you hurry, you can still catch it at the station. I'll be waiting at Yugi Gra Yugi's grandpa's place. Come see us when you get back, okay? All right, I'm assuming I had to speak with her. Let's check out our deck, bro. Oh my gosh, same menu and everything. Woo! Dome of the Angel, but it's a tribute, 1600. Okay, let's see what spells and traps. Now, I learned a lot, guys. I will be checking the shop much more frequently in this playthrough because uh, instead of trying to bulk, Wait, what is that card? Back in the darkness. If, if attacked, it destroys a monster in the field. Okay, so it's, it's like a it's like a trap, basically. It's basically a trap, but a spell. So we have to find the train station. Can we actually go up here? We still can't. Feels bad. I wonder if I should try dueling someone. Let's see. You must be a bad duelist if you're out here. Oh! Okay! Uh, maybe I should have spoke to him first, but all right, whatever. Let's see, let's see. What was that? Is that just showing that we played a card? That's kind of uh, confusing. Let's put me in defense mode and end our turn. I don't know how I feel about all that. Like I'm okay. I, I get why it's happening, sort of, but still, it's kind of tilting. I guess it's because phases are. It's their way of showing that phases are taking place, but it's not really phases. That's really strange. Okay, we can move past it. All right, 750 to the face, 400 to the face. We're gonna win our first duel, boys. We're gonna win our first duel today, you and I hanging out together. Not forever, but for now. How come this card didn't get activated? Back into darkness activated, it will carry off a monster in the foe's field to the after. Okay, so it's just like a straight up destruction card. It's not an actual, if this card is attacked, it's you use this card and it goes ahead and destroys a monster on the opponent's side of the field. Nice! Well, we got Leo Gun on the board. And uh, I'm pumped about it. Let's see. Well, swing with our 700 should be enough. Nice! Apparently, one thing you guys did say about this game is that it's going to be much, much harder. Much harder. So I'm both riled and nervous for that. It's a combination of both, which just, it just means that we're gonna have to be much smarter. Like I said, we're gonna be visiting the shop much more frequently. Uh, I'm assuming it has most of the same cards. I don't know how many new cards it'll have in here. Because I don't know how many new Yu-Gi-Oh cards actually came out between the last game and this game, but. Uh, let's see, monster, whoa, we revealed the point. Don't look at my hand, you, you big old meanie. That's my hand, you give it to me. Uh, let's just do it with that and end the game, easy. Easy and simple. The opponent is out of lips. Yes, we are here to hunt for more lips. That capacity increased by three. And Ligul. Its attack power can be used to damage the opponent directly. Ah, yes. I said all the top duelists are aboard the Duel Express, but I may be wrong. You're pretty tough. Okay, let's find where the where the station is. Well, actually, let's see. I'm guessing the station's gonna be, oh, here's Ishizu. The Egyptian God cards are required to seal away the dark being. First, the Egyptian god cards must be restored from their stone prisons. In order to do so, we need the Millennium items and their mystical energies. The first Millennium item is at the Egyptian Egypt e Exhibition. I can't say that word! Exhibit, exhibit, exhibit! You can reach the exhibition from the railway station. Okay, let's check out the railway station. Whoa! Domino Station, the map is different. You're a duelist? Yeah, I'm a duelist. Yeah! Ah, you are! Then please, step on board! Just kidding, it's never that easy! 
If you wish to board the Duel Express, you'll have to get by us first. Winning the Tag Duel is your boarding pass. I wasn't expecting things to be a cakewalk, but who would imagine a Tag Duel to test our skills? Well, I don't think we have a choice. There's no way every duelist in the world can fit into that train. I guess that's true, but in a Tag Duel, you'll need a partner. Shady, who do you want to team up with? Me or Yugi? Uh, I'm a go with Yugi, Joey. Okay, you can count on me, Shady. A tag duel. Interesting. Okay. How the heck is this going to work? It's Shady's turn. I'm going to set this E to Gaboon. And I'm going to attack with the 700 Bewitching. We just get over it. Oh, baby. We'll end our turn. He goes in defense mode. Now, does Yugi go? No, Yugi doesn't even go. What's so taggy about this, then? I'm rather confused. I'm going to swing into the forest with our 700 forest. We're not going to tribute yet. There's no reason. Tributing wouldn't net us a, a uh, wouldn't net us a plus in life points difference, so I'd rather just get another monster out. These are early duels. We don't got to worry about getting a big boy out. Uh, now I'll worry. I know. We'll, we'll, we'll get this 500 out here because we do have Edigaboon. Ooh, and you were win. Wow, I'm really glad I didn't attack with my Earth. That would have been bad. That would have been a bad, bad, bad time. Let's end our turn. And it's Shady's turn. Okay, uh, what do you do? Mystic Lamp. You're not Ancient Lamp. Uh, its attack power can be used to damage the opponent directly. Okay, that's something crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and tribute you. Let's see. I guess it's actually worth to tribute two monsters right now and get a 2400 attack monster. Oh, come on! Why? That's a drag, bro. That's a drag. Really, by 50 life points. I figured, like, the forest was putting in the work. You kept having wind, so... Whatever, bro. You know what? At that point, now it is worth tributing. Now it's worth tributing, just to make sure. You've got to be kidding me, man! Dreamer already! Okay, this game is... Oh, it's already... <laughs> It's already so much harder. Oh my gosh, why? What did I do? Please get through. Thank you, thank you. Give us 2,400 to the face. Oh man, that was that was tough, dude. Mystic Lamp was activated, it will inflict damage. That's fine, 400 damage, easy money, dude. Easy, easy, easy money. Uh, this will be, let's just go with 600. And it, Go 600 damage is fine. The trap was Edigaboon. That's exactly why I did that. That's exactly why I did that. Now, uh, I just remembered a tip you guys gave me. Attack first before summoning anything. That way you play around Torrential Tributes and uh, anything like that. So, gotta remember to do that. Kind of treat it like, even though, even though it's not really a main phase two, treat it as if it's a main phase two that you can also attack in, I guess. So I gotta think that along that regard. Dual Victory, your deck pass increased by three and 200 dominoes obtained. Monster I was obtained. I don't care about Monster Eye. Gotta hand it to you, Yugs. That duel lasted barely a second. On the other hand, Shady, you had me worried. Okay, so I just dueled alongside him. I, I couldn't afford to waste any time. I have to find the spirit right away. But Shady's duel was pretty impressive. Let's keep this up, guys. Bravo. Please feel free to board the train. Thank you, I'm boarding that train right now. You cannot stop me. You cannot stop me. <laughs> Yeah, I found him. <laughs> yeah. The Duel Express is reserved for duelists only. I'm raring to go. Our objective is... Yeah, I know. But if we raise a duelist level while we look for the Millennium Items, that's like killing two birds with one stone. AKA, I'm sure we have to duel everyone in order to advance. Let's start with spiky hair. Huh? Sure. Okay, wait. I didn't want to... I pressed B, gosh darn it. Wow, that was lame. I actually don't think I put up an ante at all there. I could have done 400 damage out the gate, but I decided not to. Please be weaker. Okay, you already have a type advantage on me. That's fun. What beats Earth again? Well, gosh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. I mean, I guess let's get 400 damage in, because why not? Oh boy, are we already gonna be on a losing streak? Is this game really that much harder? 
Is this game really going to be that much harder than the last one? That's going to be incredible if that's the case, dude. Okay. It's fine. We can at least take out one of his monsters. Boom. We have Pyro versus Forest. Oh, it's not fire anymore. Didn't it used to be fire or was it always Pyro? I don't know. I don't know. Unfortunately, his Morphing Jar is just too strong for me. Uh, it's just it's just way too strong. Okay. What's that? 500. We can't... Mm. Can't seem to catch a break right now. I'm gonna slowly just try to keep the field, uh, his field down to two monsters if I can, until I get something that's higher than 700, or until I get wind. I think wind beats earth. His forest beats wind. His Kirby's dreamland and wind beats earth. 700. Okay, at least this crashes. First we'll take out the forest and then we'll really hope he doesn't have an answer for my dream. I want my dream to live, gosh darn it. Let my dream live. And he's gonna crash. Okay, that's better than, I'm fine with you crashing. Cause it was the first, it was the only 700 monster you played. So I'm assuming everything else will be weaker. Uh, 500, okay, we have 650. 650 light. Nice, Buku, Buku was not in the last game, I don't think. I feel like I would have remembered seeing Buku. At the very least, it definitely wasn't in our starter deck. Oh, we got it, we got to set up guys. We got a ways to go. Let's attack with Buku. Ah, I did it again. I summoned first. I shouldn't have. But attacking with Buku is worth. Because that thing had 600 defense. Oh, and Forest just takes down our wind. Easy. All right. Well, just to make sure that nothing crazy can happen to us, let's tribute and let's go ahead and get our 13, 13, 1350 out. Our Tatsunuto. Tatsunuto Shigo. What a, what a name, dude. Your parents loved you. Your parents loved you. All right, it was a struggle, but I think we are gonna win our first duel. Uh, it's not even its not even close to being over yet, though. These duels in general are definitely gonna take a longer time. And it seems like the game just has a little bit, not of a better story, but obviously it's, it's unique. It's just, hey, find all the Millennium items. And we're gonna get the Egyptian cards and Egyptian God cards in this game. Hopefully we'll get to use all of them. Because I know we obviously didn't get to use uh, Ra that we got from beating Marek, but we got it at least. We just had to give it away to Ishizu right away, which was a little bit of a feels bad. Oh, three face downs now. Where's my Harpy's Feather Duster, bro? I would love to go to the shop right now and pick up, start picking up trap, traps and spells. I do wonder if they're as inexpensive as the last game or if they realized that they were OP as heck in sacred cards. We'll find out. <clears throat> End our turn. End our turn. It's Shady's turn. Um, I guess let's do it. Let's double tribute it up, boys. We'll swing with our 1350, wow. And we'll wrap the game up with a 2400 beater. Nice, nice, your deck capacity increased by 318 domino was obtained. Yup, I lost. That was fun. Okay, so spiky hair is done. It's gold bowl cut. Well, okay, I, I, it's time to do, 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 do. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's choose something a little more expensive. There we go. There we go. Yeah, see, I don't think we got a card last time. Uh, I'm gonna leave him in attack mode because it's 750. I would go in defense, but since it's 700 defense, I'm hoping 750 is the sweet spot. I did it again. I keep summoning something. It's ridiculous, man. Just don't do it. It ain't that hard to not do. I'm pretty sure piercing light reveals everything, right? On the on the field. Final destiny, we're not using that card. Every enemy of the monster is fully revealed. Okay. And then this one is it destroys all cards on the field and in the hands. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, of course. I should have kept attacking with my 750. I knew that was the magic number. I knew it was the magic number, but I refused. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't attack with anything. We'll end our turn. Okay, he attacks with his Zarigan. Zarigan! How do we already, we already have 4350 life points? We took that much damage? Wait, is the starting life points less than 8,000? No, I don't think so. 
I definitely do not think so. I guess we did just take damage. Because our life points are 4350. Yeah, we're pretty low. I didn't realize that. <clears throat> we'll have to check our starting life points in the in the beginning of the next one. Just to make sure. Because something seems a little fishy. Speaking of fishy. Here we go. 800. Got like literally 10 abs. It's got a 10 pack, dude. That's ridiculous. Whew. We are working our way there. We are working it out. Horus the man-eater bug. You're supposed to be Earth. Come on. Um, let's go with a little bit of you, I guess. <clears throat> Soon another 800. I keep doing it, bro. I keep summoning before attacking. Oh man, that's gonna bite me in the butt. No, nah, we're gonna shake it off. This is gonna be the only episode that happens. That's it. That's it. We're done. We're done doing that. We are done doing that. Here we go. Uh, summon a 400. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is so broken. What is going on? I literally am speaking it out loud. And within five seconds, I do the opposite of what I want to do. That's incredible. That's honestly impressive. It's honestly impressive. All right, here we go. I remembered, guys. <laughs> it obviously doesn't matter because I didn't get punished last time for summoning my monster, so I'm never gonna. I'm not gonna get punished with the current cards he has on the board. So we don't gotta worry about it. And this duelist is all washed up. He's out of lips. Deck capacity increased by three. House of adhesive tape was obtained. If the monster attack is 500 or less, we're probably never gonna add that in. Wow, losing helped me relax. There's no pr more pressure to win. All right, that's interesting. I want to battle this guy who's off screen. Where'd you go? But you don't look so tough. I think I can beat you. I wonder if these guys would reduel me. I don't know if they would, but we're not going to find out right this second. Okay, 800 attack. We got our strongest monster in our opening hand. You better go into defense mode. Nice. All right. We're obviously going to attack with our strongest monster as well. So 600 defense on that mirror. And let's go with, I guess let's go with Shadow. 600 on Shadow. Those skinny little arms. And our turn. I think this will be nice and simple. Never mind, he's got a wicked mirror who's dreaming all over the place. We can carry that off into the darkness, but I'm not going to just yet. Uh, instead, let's go ahead and summon our Wind Bird, the Droll Bird and end our turn. Okay. So now I feel confident in tributing for our little lion. Let's use Beck into darkness. Get rid of that card and we do 2,500 damage, dude. 2,500, that means we got two turns after this one. Hopefully, unless he draws a freaking uh, whatever beats earth again, wind. If he draws a wind, I am in trouble, but otherwise I think we're set. You can bet that we're set. I forget exactly why we're set, but I bet that Uncle Chet will definitely not be upset. Bars, anyone? Bars, no? No, Bueller, anyone? No, okay, cool, nice. Oh, my 50 Buku? Look, oh, wait a minute, my life points. Okay, I definitely did not take any damage. My life points are carrying over from duel to duel. My life points are definitely carrying over from duel to duel. How does that make sense? What? We also have not been shown how to save yet. Ooh, we got Maneater Bug. How could I lose to someone like you? Can I talk to this guy? The Duel Express is bound to the Egypt ex Exhibition. The station is very crowded due to the Duel Tournament. Please board the train in an orderly manner. Oh, have I really not even boarded the train yet? I dueled these three. I didn't duel you. Everyone looks so tough. I'm not sure if I can last until the end. Life points, 3750. My life points are not restoring. Is that supposed to be the way the game is or is my game broken? I'm fixing my deck. Okay, so we already dueled you. We already dueled you. Why? The turn hasn't even started yet. But I like your spunk. I accept your challenge. Okay. I, uh, I really need to know if my game's broken. If you really don't gain H, uh, your life points back between duels, that's insanity. Uh, let's go with the 700 over the 600 fire guy. Let's 
end our turn. Bum 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 uh, let's swing with this first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And now let's go to seven to 700. Another 700 beater. 750 actually spicy. All right, we got to board the train after this. I thought we were on the train already. And Joey was like, we got a duel. So I was like, okay, let's just, let's, yeah, let's duel people. First, let's swing. And then let's go ahead and tribute. For some reason, my brain was getting confused. I'm pretty sure in regular Yu-Gi-Oh! So in regular Yu-Gi-Oh! You can summon in your main phase too, I believe. Of course, you can always set. But I'm guessing you can attack with something and then tribute it. You definitely can. What did this card just do to me? I didn't even read it. I was too busy thinking out loud. Oh, you deal you deal damage to me. You do 50 lips. That's the one that does 50 lips? Maybe you did more this time around. I don't know. Either the way, I'm glad I'm glad that I just didn't have to worry about what I was seeing. Let's go for another 600 damage. Yeah, man, if our life points don't recover between duels, that makes dueling so much harder. Like, because like, especially in the beginning, because you have to take damage to make plays. Like you have to let your opponent attack over your little baby monsters you summon them. I was like, right now, I really shouldn't summon anything else. But I'm gonna summon a 550. Because I'm guessing at the start of the train, our life points will res restore? Maybe? I don't know. Okay. This should be the game right here, I believe, if my math mathematics were correct. We'll deal a thousand. Seven hundred. And six hundred. How come all these guys have a thou eight thousand life points as if they, as if they didn't ever? anti regeki Oh my gosh. This card screwed us in the last playthrough. I'm saving my rule strategies for the tournament. Yeah, sure you are, bro. Do you want to duel too? Uh, I'm on duty, but I did want to give this game a try. Let's duel. Wow, I didn't actually expect you to duel. Not gonna lie, I did not expect you to duel. Oh, I really hope this doesn't bite me in the butt. All right, we're gonna put this in defense mode. 750. 750 Thunder. It's my highest defense, most likely. All right, Itagaboon is gonna go ahead and destroy that monster, which is nice. Uh, let's go for 700 here. I'm gonna leave my 715 defense, obviously, because it's only 300 attack. Aqua, baby! Nice, you're an Aqua boy. That's great for us. We have like infinite, infinite thunder types in our hand right now. Absolutely infinite. Of course, guys, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we're not done yet, but we will be uploading this series every single day. We're going to be having two LPs going on in this channel for the month of January. It's going to be our Yu-Gi-Oh! LP and is going to be our uh, Zelda Twilight Princess playthrough. So if you haven't checked that out and you want to, feel free to. If you're looking for something to watch and you didn't watch our last series, the Sacred Card series, there'll be a link in the description down below to the playlist if you want to check it out. Because that whole series is completely done, and it was a good one. It was a doozy. And it is the uh, it is the game that comes before this one, so I would advise watching it. I think this guy is all Aqua, dude. Our Thunder is just out here. La 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 yoon! Just out here. We haven't seen a single one of our Tribute Monsters, otherwise we could end this a lot quicker. But it's all good. End our turn. And oh, there's the Earth. There's the earth, dude. I don't think it's gonna matter. It's a little bit too little too late. 612. Oh, I don't think we have the game right now. 612. No, we're just shy, dude. If we would have seen one tribute, we could have ended the game here. But it's all good. I'm not gonna take unnecessary damage right now by by attacking with my set my 300 or 350. Thunder. There's just no reason. Especially since our life points haven't recovered, and I really don't know what that's about. The opponent's out of lips. Your deck pass increased by three. 154 dominoes obtained. Frog the Jam. 700 attack. That's actually a good card for our deck. I quite enjoyed that. Okay. We haven't been shown how to save yet. Okay, so I thought we had to go up in order to board the train. Dual Express is bound for the... E okay, you're saying the same exact thing. I guess we have to go down. 
Wait. 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 What is happening? Where do I board the train, dude? All aboard, Dual Express will soon depart. The next and only stop is the Egypt ex Exhibition. I thought that, uh, I thought they said that it was the last stop. It's the only stop now? Hmm, interesting, interesting. I can't save here. And there's nowhere to, there's nowhere to go. There's just nowhere to, all right, I'm gonna figure it out in between episodes because we're, we're pretty much, we're good on time anyway. So I wanna thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed. Don't forget to show some shady love to that thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Have yourselves a fantastic day, but above all else, keep it shady. Thank you.